Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hope you're all doing well. It seems like a long time since I checked in with you all. I just have been so busy, uh, as usual, but there never seems to be a, a good time to film. I wanted to show you and talk about a few purchases I made from good old Chanel a few weeks ago now. They've had uh, a few releases in the Le Beige collection with those um, oversized triple colour palettes with the blush, the bronzer and the highlighter, which I was very tempted by. They look gorgeous. I actually went in store at St Pancras to have a look at them. But although I think the large palettes are very chic, they're not really that practical. I find it difficult to use up the smaller amounts of product in ordinary sized compacts. And in fact, I've still got a uh, Le Beige kind of striped, much more muted colours that they brought out as a kind of multi powder quite a few years ago now. And although I do have it in my handbag from time to time and use it, it still looks barely touched. So I knew I would struggle to make much impression on a large palette. And I would also say that although the the kind of blush stripe in a few of them was really pretty, the light and medium coral and the rose coral, I didn't feel any of the bronzers were really my colouring, which is quite unusual for Chanel. Um, they, they just looked too orangey, especially when I looked at them in the shop. And... Uh, the highlighting kind of powder also didn't quite, um, what shall I say, it didn't really excite me. So although I was tempted, I went back more than once uh, when I was passing through making other journeys, I resisted because I am trying to be a lot more mindful with my purchases this year. I've got rid of a lot of stuff or, uh, that I'm not using and... I'm just trying to hone my collection down to things that I really love and will use. So I didn't really intend to buy anything from the single eyeshadow um, collection, the Ombre Essentielle, which have always been kind of knocking about in the back of um, Chanel's collection. They're singles, but I don't think they're as famous for them as their their quads and, and other palettes. But they've re-released um, a few and added new colours. That's an empty box there. So that will reassure you that I am actually using one. Although maybe that I haven't put it in here. Um, yeah, here we go. So this is the first one that I got. I don't hate it when the prints get all over. And this is Blanc, Blanc Perle, or Blanc Pearl, which is a multi-use eye top coat satin. And do I need another top coat? Possibly not. Um, but I don't know, the light's not brilliant today. Can you get the sort of pinky shift in this? There, you can get it there a little bit, or I'm getting it on screen. Um, it's a really beautiful, soft powder. Doesn't feel at all gritty. You can see it's showing up quite light. It's fairly transparent, but with a different kind of rose gold shift, which I find actually quite pretty on the eyelid without anything else. But you can definitely use it as a topper. And it actually makes quite a difference to some shades when you use it as a topper. It makes them look really kind of burnished. So I do think it's quite a unique product. I wondered if the kind of white highlighters that um, Chanel's brought out quite a few times recently were the same, but when I tried them out, they weren't. I should have got them out to show you. I'm so such a bad YouTuber. I just never prepare anything. Um, we'll, we'll do that another time, I guess. Um, but take it from me. I do think this is slightly different. Uh, and I, I love it. I have been using it. 
Um, then Jade Facete um, is a metallic. And this, I think, really was one of the first that I decided I was going to get when I saw various YouTubers demonstrating before they were in the shops here. Because I thought this was a pretty um, colour for spring, summer. And uh, not just look how matching I am with my nails. This is uh, CC foam, I think, from a couple of years ago. Uh, I just love this colour. And uh, I thought it was perfect for summer. And I haven't got it in any of my palettes. Again, beautifully soft. Very iridescent. I went to see Midsummer Night's Dream, the ballet, last night. And these colours are making me think of the gorgeous fairy costumes in Midsummer Night's Dream. These iridescent pastels, really. I will say that this one I have worn. I haven't really got to grips with how to best to use it. And I don't feel, or I didn't feel when I did wear it, that it looked quite right. I haven't quite worked out what I need to wear with it. I have got, <laughs> not in here, unfortunately, um, somewhere else. Is it here? I've got so many bits of makeup. Ah, yeah, there we go. So, this is because I had it away with me. This is um, Victoria Beckham's, uh, one of her satin cage or liners. I think they are the best, um, really soft uh, liners. A lot of the colours are quite dark and too kind of smoky for me. But, whoops, that's the rubber bit. So they're not in the same um, colour spectrum, even though you would think. <laughs> they were uh, but I do love this colour um, so 80s isn't it and I was wearing it last week with one of the other eyeshadows I'll show you in a minute as a kind of contrast the Brun Talpa um, now I believe this shade which is a satin was already in the collection I didn't have it um, I have one of their old formulation singles um, which is a taupe, which is gorgeous, the name of which I've forgotten. <laughs> this video is not doing very well, is it? Um, I nearly didn't get this, but everyone raved about it. I thought, how do I need another taupe? Um, even though taupe is what I wear the most. But I'm so glad I got it because, I don't know if you can see, I have actually already made a dent in it, which is most unusual for me but this is a perfect everyday shade um again it looks all kind of glittery but it's not little pieces of glitter at all and it's just the most gorgeous quite cool um satin taupe it's so easy to work with it just glides on one and done you can kind of blend it out um, I can't think of anyone this wouldn't suit. I, I do think it's neutral to cool. So if you like warm shades, then, well, probably taupe isn't really for you. But certainly this tone of taupe. Um, love it. Let's just, for interest's sake, put the top coat over it. See how that looks. I don't know if you can see that immediately gives it a pinky. I mean, totally changes the colour, doesn't it? Um, I really do like this topper. Um, if you like to play with your makeup. Then this is the one which was the original one. I actually bought this separately. Um, and this shows how long ago, because I bought this while I was on holiday, which was in May. Um, and this is a mat. It's rare for me to get a mat, but I had this vision of myself looking very chic with red lips and grey, pale grey, kind of Dior grey from Chanel, um, eyes. 
And ironically, this is the one I've worn the least of, but I think that may partly be time of year. Uh, now you can see it's it's a very pale grey, almost kind of white. Um, and it does look, you know, rather than anything smoky, which I'm not that keen on, um, very chic on the eyelids. Um, but uh, as I say, I haven't quite got round to wearing that as much, but I may take that with me this week. And I also, because I was away, like I don't have enough liners, ordered um, a matching pencil I'm not sure it is that matching and I'm not sure that I don't already have it but there you go a much more defined grey for highlighting so those were my purchases I was quite tempted by the violet very pretty um, although I like violet as a colour I think it looks better on hazel eyes than blue-grey eyes that I have. Um, I, I mean, I don't think there are any rules about what colour eyeshadow you wear, but you've got to be realistic about, you know, what you're going to wear on more than the odd occasion when you want to look a bit different. So uh, I desisted. I do think these individual shadows, which seem in a way far less good value than getting a palette, and they are, I mean... Um, I do love a, a nice quad, but the reality is I seldom wear more than two of the colours in a quad very regularly or certainly together. And there is something satisfying about kind of one and done shades as I get older and I feel that I need more time to do everything, including my makeup. I'm just trying to kind of pare things down. So the single shades are becoming more appealable is the truth of the matter. So, um, these are very nice ones. I know some people like the Dior ones. Um, nothing wrong with that. Uh, I am still a Chanel girl. Uh, here is their new fragrance, Comet. Comet? Comet. Um, bit on the fence about this. Um, we'll talk about that another time. They also sent me a chance. I'm not that keen on chance. I got a little mascara, always useful to have in your handbag. And um, I love the sub. I always choose the sublimage um, samples because sublimage is so expensive. I have bought the sublimage sunscreen and the sublimage foundation, but otherwise I've never actually bought anything from the sublimage foundation, um, and sublimage range, skincare range. Although I have so many samples that I use of it. I really do like it. Wish it came in tubes rather than the pots, but there we go. So those were my purchases uh, and I really do like them all and I am wearing them and none of those are going to have to be decluttered um, from my makeup collection. So that's a win. Um, I hope you're all doing well. Thank you if you've watched through to the end. A thumbs up, much appreciated and I'm always interested to read your comments. Until next time, take care, be well. Bye for now.